Okay, this video is going to be about my breastfeeding uh, experience. And, um, as you can see, here's Ella enjoying some breast milk. <laughs> um, right now, I just, um, or now I'm exclusively pumping and making bottles, freezing breast milk. Um, just a huge process. Very time consuming and tedious, as you see from the other videos. Um, anyways, but for the first nine, nine weeks of her life, she was breastfed and bottle fed, but not formula, just, she's breast milk all the time, but, um, anyways, um, for the first two weeks, she was exclusively breastfed, and then I was just getting really tired, so I kind of ignored the fact that, um, they kept telling me that, you know, she could get nipple confusion if I was to, um, put her on a bottle too early before, like, six weeks. So I did put on a bottle, but it was only at night time, and she was using the Playtex Nurser bottles, um, and she was using some of the Vent Air bottles too. But um, she didn't get nipple confusion until around, I guess that she was about five or six weeks old, and she got one of those Medela bottles, and they're, the nipples way too fast, and so I think that's what caused her nipple confusion. So she wouldn't breastfeed off me anymore, and finally, like, I got her to breastfeed off of me for a, a little bit, and then when she was nine weeks old, I just took her off the breast, and then just pumped and gave her the breast milk in the bottle, because I went back to work when she was nine weeks old. Um, I work full-time as a nurse, and I do tw three 12-hour shifts, so um, there was no way I was going to be able to breastfeed her, just breastfeed her. So... Um, and she goes to daycare, um, and she gets about, I guess, six bottles, six or seven bottles of breast milk a day, so, um, I make plenty for her. When I was first starting to breastfeed, she had some latch on problems, so I had a lactation consultant come in when I was in the hospital. They came in, like, every day I was there. They helped her, um, latch on, and it was funny because every time they were there, she would latch on perfectly fine, but then when they left and I tried to get her to latch on, she wouldn't latch on for me. So, um, anyways, but finally she got it about two weeks, like, she was about two weeks old when she actually finally got it, and she wasn't taking, like, an hour to eat, because at first it would take me, like, an hour to feed her, so I was just constantly feeding her breast milk. Um, so you don't really have a life, <laughs> but you don't really have a life when you have a baby anyway, so, um, it was not a big deal, definitely not. Um, I didn't go out of the house for the first two weeks, I had a C-section, so I just didn't really feel up to going out of the house. Um, I'm just now getting back to feeling like myself after the C-section, but I'll do another video on the C-section experience. Um, everybody's experience is different, but anyways, um back to the breastfeeding experience. Anyway, so from six to nine weeks I I breastfed her and bottle fed her. Um, only she got bottles like maybe once or twice a day because I was trying to get her back to breastfeeding so maybe I could have like breastfed her like once or twice when I was um, working. And um, but that didn't work. She just drinks bottles now. Um, for the first couple of weeks, my nipples were really sore, and every time she latched on, I'd just about cry, because that's how bad it hurt. They were just really raw, and really chaffed, and, or shaved, and, and dry, and, I mean, that was my own fault, because I wasn't putting the lanolin stuff on them, like I should have been. I was doing it, like, maybe once a day, and I should have been doing it, like, every time she would feed off of me, and, uh... So, anyways, but my husband thought that if I rubbed it on there and then fed her, that the reason she wasn't latching on too well was because of the oiliness of it. Um, and in fact, um, it's fine with with lanolin when they breastfeed off of you. It's fine if they ingest some. <laughs> it's not a big deal. It even says it on the box. So, anyways, um, but nonetheless, my nipples did hurt. I mean, they still get sore at times because I try to pump as fast as I can because 
I don't want to take like 30, 40 minutes to pump. I want to take 20 minutes to pump and get it all out. Um, but sometimes it takes me up to 30 minutes to pump it all out. So my nipples, when I put the speed up really quickly, they kind of get really sore. <laughs> of course. Um, I try to, especially at work, try to pump fast because I want to get back to my patients. And um, I don't want to be taking all day to sit there and pump. So, um, anyways... Let's see, what else can I talk about? Um, with pumping, it's, it is time consuming, like I was saying. Um, you have to take 20 to 30 minutes out of your day to go and pump. I, I do this three times. Ella, stop playing with this bottle. Hey. Some of it takes her a while to actually get used to it. <laughs> the fact that, oh wait, there's a bottle, it's not a pacifier. <laughs> Um, anyways, I think she's just fussy right now. She's been fussy all day. That's why my videos have a lot of her in them. So, anyways, um, and then at nine weeks, when I went back to work, I was pumping. And so, um, when I, my, basically my routine is that, I go to, I work from 7P to 7A, so when I get home I have to pump, and that takes 30 minutes, and that delays me from going to bed. So I go to bed like around 9, then I have to get up at 3 o'clock to get ready, and then I'm pumping again at 4 o'clock. Um, and in that time frame from 3 to 6, I'm pumping, I'm getting ready to go to work, I'm cooking dinner, I'm washing bottles, I'm preparing bottles for Brandon to take to daycare the next day. So, those three hours are the most tiring three hours of my life. <laughs> um, and then I go to work, and um, so, and I'm on my feet 12 hours. Well, not the entire 12 hours. Sometimes, basically, the patients do go to sleep, and I get some, I uh, get to sit down and chart and whatnot. So, um, anyways, um, so that's basically, like, what my pumping experience is like. And then at work I pump at midnight. So I pump every eight hours and um, I try to keep myself on that schedule when I flip my body back to day shift. Um, that's also hard too when you're um, pumping. Um, and my phone's upstairs ringing, but anyways. So the pumping is time consuming as you get. But I wanted to do this for a year because I wanted to have the breast milk for a year. And that's why we bought the, bought the deep freezer. That's why we bought the breast pump. Um, I was going to give up at three weeks, to tell you the truth. I really was. And um, But then, you know, I thought, well, I can pump it out. And if she doesn't take it from me, then I can, you know, give her bottles. So, kind of all started with the breast pump, giving the bottles. But um, breast pumps are great. And I've done basically probably two, three videos on my breast pump. Um, Medela breast pumps are probably the best breast pumps you can get. They are very expensive, and um, you can rent them from your ho from the hospital. Some hospitals rent them out. But um, anyways, she's gone to sleep, poor thing. Um, but breastfeeding, I I do it um, because I want her to get the best milk and for her to be healthy and and the benefits. Um, for mom and baby are great too. I know they can prevent some cancers in, in the mom. And for the baby, it's it's probably the most balanced milk you can give them. I know that some babies don't tolerate it, so you have to go to formula. But with her, she's tolerated it just fine, so we're really thankful for that. And you save a lot of money in the long run. Um, it's like $25 for a can that lasts maybe a week and a half. So I know some people tell me they spend about $150 alone on formula every month and um, I don't know if we could um, afford that right now <laughs> so breastfeeding is the way to go for us um, anyway so um, you know, little phrase, he's okay, 
So I think that's basically it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I might do a part two because I've probably forgotten many, many things about breastfeeding. It's just such a broad subject. Um, anyways, thanks for watching.